So there is that game show element of the show. Do you walk the line? Do you cash out? Not that we got the opportunity. To do that. <laughs> <laughs> the the <laughs> So, I mean, this really starts with you, Matt and Joe, but tell us, how did you guys meet? Because on paper, it just makes no sense. <laughs> uh, that's true. It makes no sense. Joe and I met uh, seven or eight years ago. At the University of, uh, of Mary in a uh, town just right where I'm from, uh, Bismarck, North Dakota. That's right. I actually went up to Matt because I thought he looked cool, and uh, I just introduced myself, but I talked like I was a Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> <laughs> I was writing a bunch of songs and we started, I guess, two thirds of a band and we needed to find a singer. Um, I, I do that. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, what, that's what I come in. And the thing that doesn't make sense is that we found Mark on Instagram, of all places. He had posted a, a cover of him playing something. I messaged him, I said, I know you're in England, uh, but do you want to come to LA? and be in a band. And he said yes! I said yes! He said yes! And ten days later he was on a flight to LA, we all clicked, and uh, here but we are. Important to note, Matt actually left me on red. He, mess well, he messaged me, I responded, maybe a bit too keenly, I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that sounds great. Didn't respond. Mark never gets left on red. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think he would want to do it, I thought he was just being nice. Look who was in LA ten days later. This guy. Yeah, right, yeah. yeah. Thirsty. How did you find the whole pandemic, COVID and everything being apart? I think it was probably, arguably, the most difficult period for us as a band. You know, I think we've been fairly used to not being together all the time, but for 18 months not playing together, not being able to write in the same room, not just and being pals. You know, that's what we love doing <laughs> yeah, the most. <laughs> just hanging out, and yeah, it, it was really hard. It was quite kind of creatively stifling, we didn't get as much done as we would have wanted to, we didn't really know what was going to happen next, which is the same for everyone, right? But yeah, it was um, it was tough. Mark, seeing these guys' faces walk through the airport terminal, how did you feel? Oh man, teared up, honestly. <laughs> yeah, it was just the most surreal experience again. Mm. Got to Heathrow Airport, saw Matt and Joe come through with all their little bags, well, actually very big bags to be honest. Yeah, yeah but you know what? It. It was emotional, but it almost felt like I'd seen you guys yesterday. Yeah, yeah. that's how it felt. Yeah. Like you blinked and then there you are again. And then we got back here and probably went out like we always do whenever we meet each other for the first time. <laughs> you got a drink through the jet lag, all right? <laughs> <laughs> for those of you who don't know, I'm sure when this is out, it, people should know, but Reigns appeared on a new ITV show, which is replacing the X Factor, Walk the Line. Guys, talk to you about how did this come about? So we actually, this whole process started about, what, four, five months ago, something like that. Um, when the whole kind of initial outreach happened. Um, and then we were just going through all the, you know, the auditions, the interviews and all, and all that process. We didn't actually find out we were on the show until only maybe about a month prior to filming, something like that. Yeah, yeah, so we were here already. Um, we were going to come anyway, but yeah. you know, having the, the show to look forward to was, was big for us um, and really gave us something to kind of work toward. It was, I would say, we can all agree, a fantastic experience. One of the, I mean, at least for me, and I'm sure you guys think the same, but probably the most amazing two days of our lives. Yeah. First of all, we got, <laughs> we got trapped like proper celebrities for a couple of days. Yeah. It yeah. was amazing. Which you guys are. Well, <laughs> by the time this airs, maybe. <laughs> we'll <laughs> just practice. Yeah, we'll yeah. Get you prepared for it. That was our first proper gig mm. in 18 months. Yeah. And, and what, what a stage for it, you know? Yeah, and who were, the, who were the judges on it? So we had Gary Barlow. Legend. Legend. Uh, French. Sean French. Yep. Beautiful. Craig Davis. Also beautiful. beautiful. And also Alicia Dixon. Alicia Dixon. It was a very fresh show. Mm -hmm. I think they wanted to try and, you know, steer away from just purely the talent. And out of those four judges, Joe, was the one that really caught your eye? Who, who did you want to try and impress? Craig David, probably. Craig David or, uh, I just love Don French. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, as long as she loved you, then you was Yeah, yeah. So those two probably, and then obviously I wanted Maya Jamma, <laughs> most importantly, to enjoy our art. Yeah. And I think she did. Okay, so it's the day of the performance. You turn up, 
you see the stage, you see the crowd, you see all the lights and everything, a few people perform for you, how do you feel when you walk out onto that stage? You know what? Everyone kept saying, don't be nervous, you guys will be fine. And I really thought we were going to be nervous at least the tiniest bit just before we actually got on the stage. Yeah. But the whole day we were so excited, chill, just ready to go. Even when we were sort of stood in the wings, just about to go on stage, we all just kind of had a little play through the song and it was like just amazing energy. It wasn't nervousness, it was just excitement, it was just raring to go and that kind of came across, I hope. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it did. Yeah. Yeah. And of course the song was Come My Way, which is an absolute foot stamper. Mm. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <a word>. <laughs> <laughs> seeing the crowd, I mean, seeing the crowd react the way it did, yeah. how would that make you feel? That was that was amazing, I think, because um, they were all clapping along, you know, and like we didn't start it. Somebody just they it was a collective. Probably Joe's mom. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it was it was cool because you know they, no one had heard the song, and if you're playing an original, it's like it's hard to uh, you know what you want is for people to get on board immediately, like first listen through, stuck in your head. Um, so yeah, I think you know when I when I heard the people clap like cl clapping along, I was. I don't know. I mean, I I sort of blacked out. I think for thirty seconds probably, but like it was phenomenal. The whole performance just went bang. So I don't know if we were actually allowed to say how you did in the show. We are. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we are. Yeah. Well, well, okay. Here's the thing. We didn't win. Um, we f lost. <laughs> we got to bleep it out. <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny. Actually, just put a beep in. Yeah, yeah. that'd be funny. We came oh so close to almost winning that show. Um, but we've got to mention Ella, who she she was the girl that that won our show, and she did amazingly well, and you know you know great winner. But we were the the top challenger for the night. So out of the other acts that performed in the evening, we got the most amount of votes out of those people, which was amazing. Again, to go up there, everyone else did covers. We did an original song, um, mm -hmm. which was a bit of a risk, to be honest. I think we were you know we were always sure, but we wanted that to translate to the audience, and it, clearly it did, just not quite enough. But, almost, <laughs> almost. Almost. Oh, yeah. but no, we yeah, we we came second in our show, yeah, which was cool. And the, so we've established that you guys love each other. You are all pretty much like brothers. I mean I love you all. Uh, but how much do you really know each other? And I did mention before I did have a few little games up my sleeve. So without further ado, welcome to Mr. Mr. and Mr. So do you feel like stealing away? And welcome to Mr. Mr. and Mr. So guys, as you can see, in case you're not already aware, you all have an instrument in your hands. We do. So Matt, what have you got? I've got a mandolin, Carl. <laughs> Mark. This is a microphone. And Joe. My girlfriend. <laughs> there we go, we've all learned something new today. <laughs> so the idea of this game is, is I'm going to ask uh, who is the whatever, and if you think it's you, you hold up your instrument or your microphone, or your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll just see how we get on. Okay? Yeah. Sounds good. So the first one is, who is the funniest? Joe, does everyone agree with Joe? Yeah, unanimous decision on yeah, that. Yeah, I think it's gotta yeah. be Joe. I was <laughs> tempted, but I think it's, it's Joe. Yeah, it's Joe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 100% agree on that one. Not saying you guys aren't funny. No, but it's, you know. Could be close. Yeah. Okay, next one. <laughs> does that mean that I'm last? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Mark's face, we both rank them. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, who is the vainest? Oh, I mean. Yeah, who would say Mark? Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. look at this guy. <laughs> it's a close one. Well earned, though, yeah. honestly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, how, how long do we think it takes you to get ready for a night out, on average? Uh, for me, uh, I would say 47 and a half minutes. 47 and a half minutes? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's kind. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Who is the best dancer? No. Are you not gonna raise your. <laughs> <laughs> Get that guitar up. Right we now. all. That's not even a, a question. That's Joe no, is no. the best dancer I've ever seen in my life. So I can. I mean, I've always been a little bit of a dancer, but when I first went out to LA, me and Joe used to go partying a lot together. Matt was there a few times, but you know, he'd stay in and do music and stuff. Yeah. Me and Joe just partied the whole <laughs> yeah. time. And my god, this guy can dance. And I think I've learned a thing or two, but oh, Joe. Oh, Mark. Joe is takes the crown. Good. <laughs> Mark got good. I've seen Mark bust a few moves. Oh too. yeah. Bust you know what, I tell you what, I think Matt's got some secret moves. He does. Yeah, he does. Yeah. He's listening to some 80s 
pop music the other night. He had his arms up. The <laughs> secret hips were going and everything was awesome. The hips don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one. Who is the smartest dog? Straight up. Sorry. Yeah, no yeah, no question. no question. We don't even need to say anything more about that. So. Just <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look. I think everyone gets that vibe. <laughs> <laughs> they get it. I'm not out party and I'm <laughs> holding my books. Who is the most emotional? Again, Mark. Yeah. 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 I cry almost as much as you, Carl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's a nice trait to have. Yeah, you know what? I just, I, I love love, I love my friends, I love my family. I, 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 I cry a lot. And that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's, fine. it's, fine. it's, fine. it's, fine. it's so beautiful. <laughs> Last but not least, who is the longest in the shower? Well, you see, this is up for debate, I think, because, Joe, you and I, I think, have, you know, seen each other's, you know, <laughs> Matt, on the other hand, this guy could be a... <laughs> A dark horse. A dark horse. Oh! I'm saying. The longest! <laughs> <laughs> the longest in the shop. Did you think I meant. Like, who takes the longest? I mean, no, it's, it's up for interpretation, Joe. Oh, we can restart this, oh my god. <laughs> I have no idea. We'll leave it there. <laughs> thank you all for joining, Mr., Mr., and Mr. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, you guys. That's amazing. So, no, I will. Okay, so, I mean, moving away from the fun games, as fun as that was, it's serious. Mm. So you guys, you're absolutely smashing it. Yeah. Lemon Drop has just received over 2 million streams on Spotify. Insane. Some serious fans. But, can you tell me, is there anything fun or wacky or weird you've ever received from a fan? Oh. <laughs> it's a joke on quite a few. <laughs> No, there's not. There hasn't been anything like insane. We get to uh, someone made us some some Reigns guitar picks. That's pretty cool. Someone drew me once. Someone drew. Was it a good drawing? Or? It's actually pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I, that's not I, was, bad. I was impressed. Yeah. Actually, the biggest thing is definitely uh, somebody got a tattoo. A tattoo of the. Oh my god! Yeah. Of the set fire to the foxes uh, art. No way. Yeah. And not only was it a tattoo, it was a. A, a, a huge tattoo, tattoo. Huge, like yeah. it was, it was a full was on leg, leg tat. Oh my god! Amazing though. Wow. It yeah, it looked, it looked just like the. It was yeah. Yeah, bang on. So this pretty. person's gonna be walking around just with yeah. you guys. Yeah, we just love work on the leg. Yeah. That's pretty that sick. Was crazy. And if you're watching this, thanks for doing that. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, yeah. Thank, thank you. Really yeah. cool. Yeah. Thank you. Very very touched much. us. <laughs> but in all in all seriousness, have, having someone who our music even touched them in in any kind of way is cool. But enough. So they're willing to literally get a tattoo of our entire artwork on their leg was we we're all a bit like wow we're actually yeah. touching people with our music which is cool. to quite literally my game, I think. <laughs> yeah we're gonna get a big back tattoo yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, i'm the number one fan back off so i mean obviously sticking with fans i mean these guys have supported you for what four or five years now yeah. is there anything you want to say to them right now i think Thank you is the main thing to say, you know, having anyone follow us from the beginning has been amazing. Or even people who were just starting to follow us now and, and, you know, who love the music, who comment on the music, who are, you know, saying amazing things about how music has made them feel better or helped them through a tough time, you know, all, all of that is, is super touching for us. You know, it's the reason that we do this in the first place um, for you guys. So the fact that that fan base is building as well. That's amazing. Um, and yeah, just thanks for sticking around. <laughs> That's awesome. So, I mean, this brings us to probably the best part of the video. I know mean, I've been looking forward to this. I'm sure everyone else has been looking forward to it. But you guys are going to be putting on a performance to show everyone what it's like filming behind the scenes and performing behind the scenes here in this flat. Mm -hmm. The song you will be playing hasn't been released yet. Nobody else has heard it. I mean, I've heard it. <laughs> but that song is. Time me up. Time me up. Okay, let's have it. <laughs>
of a fantasy Wanted to cling to me But you don't know how to let go But I wish you'd say so Say it's not going to make me want to walk away Guys, that was absolutely incredible. As always, I mean, I've seen you guys perform so many times in this flat. I mean, before nights out, after nights out, during nights out, during during nights out. Nights out. <laughs> and every single time, I mean, it blows me away. I'm sure everyone else has absolutely loved it. Thanks. But before we wrap it up and say goodbye to everyone, there is some more big news you guys want to mention. Uh, we have merch coming out. That's the big news. Um, we are excited because it's been a long time coming, um, and we wanted to, to do it for a while. And now we've got what t-shirts, sweatshirts, buttons, stickers, just merch stuff. You, you know what I mean? It's yeah. gonna have reins. Yeah, on it somewhere. Yep. We <laughs> we designed it, and uh, I drew some of it, and um, it looks great. So hopefully, you know, get some income. <laughs> At least mum's going to buy something. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Your parents will be buying everything. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but this has been so much fun. I don't right. know why we've waited so long this to do this. so, so fun. fun. Yeah, let's do it again sometime. Let's do it again sometime. <laughs> but guys, thank you so much. Carl, thank you. Yeah, pleasure. pleasure. And to all you guys watched, thank you so much. If you do have any other questions for Reigns, put them in the comment section and they'll get back to you. I won't get to them now. <laughs> we will. We will. Yeah. Thank you all for watching.